able to take the 9 a.m. flow class because I was training, but I'm waiting for my phone or my computer to update to Big Sur, um, which is really weird to say. I don't know how I feel about Mac taking Big Sur and putting it as their newest update. Just saying, just saying. But my class is planned and just uh, dialing in my playlist. I had some changes that I wanted to make to it. Uh, but yeah, I'm just kind of hanging out until my class starts in about 40 minutes. It's been uh, it's been nice just kind of like chilling out beforehand. Um, I think I need to do this more often, but taking yoga is also great. <sighs> okay, so I had my meeting at noon rescheduled to Friday, which works out awesome. So I have a little bit more time throughout the day to just like reset. Um, but yeah day is going swimmingly. I feel great. I'm all sparked out. <laughs> Wee! Oh my gosh, look at this freaking salad. Ooh! I put some salt and some red pepper flakes on this. You guys, look at that drip though. Mm. Back in the car, we are going to Santa Maria. That salad was so freaking bomb. Oh my gosh, I'm so full. I had a side of homemade sourdough bread. Oh, that was really hard for my brain. With butter on it, it was delicious. Um, really trying to make sure that I am eating healthy during the week. I kind of fell off the wagon there and I just woke up and I always felt just really gross. And so I need to be way more mindful of what I'm putting in my body as fuel because I, my body just doesn't stop. Like I'm constantly going and I need to make sure that I'm um, giving it what it needs. So that salad was amazing. And let's see. So I'm headed to Santa Maria. Nick is actually not far behind me. I'm coming down the mountain right now, but uh, I'm going to drop off my car. They said that it was only going to be overnight and that I could pick it up tomorrow afternoon. So I'm really hoping that that's the case. So I am anticipating having to teach a lot this week. I'm already teaching a little bit more than I typically have been. I'm just making sure that I also have boundaries and I find balance. And so I'm hoping to get my classes covered or at least try to get some other classes covered because typically my classes aren't as challenging to cover. Some of them are, some of them aren't. So I'm going to just kind of see what happens but I'm strapping in for the week for sure. I am actually really, really energized today. I think honestly that matcha energizes me more throughout the day or for a longer period of time. I don't get like the coffee crash. So I'm enjoying that a lot. And I was gonna make myself another one before I got in the car, but I figured, okay, no. Oh, I realized I never spoke about getting back on Instagram. So I kind of wanted to mention that while we're in the car, while we're alone together, you know? <laughs> I got back on Instagram because I mentioned in like several vlogs ago how I missed connecting with people on Instagram and how it's kind of an outlet for me to just like reach out to you guys um, in a different way. Like I'm not, I'm not into DMs. I'm not into like commenting or liking anyone's photos. I, I personally really enjoy reaching out and anyone who wants to receive that content or my content you're welcome to it. <laughs> I really formed boundaries with my Instagram account though, I will say. Um, this road is really busy today, or at least right now, because I ended up unfollowing literally everybody. I'm not following a single soul. <laughs> and I think that helps me with, you know, diving into that world of just like mindless scrolling and comparison and all of that stuff. So um, I'm not following anybody, those accounts who are public um, and I'm interested or I'm curious to see what you're up to, then I'll do that. But otherwise, like, I'll just talk to you or I'll text you, you know, like that's just, that's just how it's going to be. <laughs> and I am so okay with that. That's like a such, it made the transition back so easy for me. Um, it's just forming those boundaries. So I feel good about it. And I've been enjoying just kind of sharing little tiny blips here and there of what I'm doing or, um, what I'm listening to, what I'm karaoke to in the car, things like that. So it's been really fun and it's definitely, I'm in a good space, space with it, a very healthy relationship with social media um, for the past six months. So that's really good for me. I'm really proud for sticking with it and really finding the discipline and not um, giving in to, to society or giving in to, um, you know, pressures to come back for my business or whatever. Like, it's all good. I really feel I'm really not gonna need to use social media at all to, um, 
to market or promote my business. Um, I'm manifesting that for myself because that's how I want to. That's how I want to run my business. That's how I want to um, set an example as a leader. Is um, you know saying, hey, like you don't you don't need social media. Um, so don't feel pressured to keep it if it's only bringing you down because it's really not a healthy headspace to be in. And there are ways around it. It's it's really enjoyable and enlightening when you get off of your phone and don't live through social media and you actually live your own life and you um, you see the world outside and you look up a lot more and you're more observant of um, your surroundings and who's around you and who you're putting your energy toward all of those things so uh, that's all I'll say this is about a seven minute long clip so I don't even know if I'm gonna put this in here in but you know if I do and if you stuck through that blessings <laughs> <laughs> so I'm hoping this is the correct trail. She said take the dune trail and there were three different trail heads. So we're just going to hope for the best. No, I feel like we're definitely not the wrong one. You do? Update. We turned around. <laughs> okay, so there, I think that one went to the rocks. Shows this is... This is outing us, Nick, <laughs> that we don't know this. No, I think that. Um, anyway, so we're going to try a different trail because I think that, look at how doony that looks, babe. Guys, <laughs> this is what we're heading up right now. Like, if this is not correct, I think I'm going to be, well, number one, I'm just going to be tired. We're gonna like walk up there, like get there, where if hopefully they're there. Just like panting. Whew. Okay, target acquired. Look at this, you guys. Oh my God, are you kidding me? Good morning. I just made it into Nick's truck. It's 5.24 in the morning. Um, I need to get going, but we did not get home until late last night. Um, that singing bowl and cacao ceremony was incredible. That view was just amazing. You guys, like, I I am so glad that we did that. Thank you to Vince and Anna for treating us all to that. That was really amazing. But we didn't get home until like 10, and we didn't get to bed until like 10.45, and I'm just like, I'm really tired. I'm subbing for one of my instructors this morning. Um, it was kind of a last minute situation, and so, um, I think that I'll be able to teach the same class with the same playlist that, um, from my 1030 yesterday. So, um, that is a blessing. <laughs> I didn't have time to plan this one at all. Yeah. Today I have two meetings after I teach and then, um, I'm pretty much free for the rest of the day, which is really, really amazing. I am so glad that I have most of Tuesday for a while. I definitely thought that I was not going to have, um, a, um, relaxed day today, but I do. So that's nice. Um, well, relaxed. <laughs> what am I saying? Anyway, so I'm gonna head into town and um, I have my matcha. I have perfected my iced matcha lattes. And I'm so happy about it. Hopefully I'm gonna get my car back today, but we'll see what happens. Um, we have an appointment at our new location around 4.30ish, so. Um, and then we go to a blues game tonight, I think, as long as I feel <laughs> open to it and um, willing to do it, I am, we'll be, we're gonna do that. So, honored with the day. Oh, this kind of works. I'm using Nick's car mount. It's in kind of an awkward angle, but it works. I just taught class and that was really great. Honestly, like, Right before I was about to teach, I was like, how? <laughs> how am I going to do this? Like, how am I gonna bring the energy for these people? Um, it was a smaller group today, and so I was just like, okay, I gotta like figure out some way to just get my energy up so I can pick their energy up. But I think it was my playlist, y'all. I think it was that freaking playlist. I am going to link it in the description because that, it just like, it just, Oh my gosh, that's day two of using it and I'm just still really fired up about it. <laughs> now I'm headed to Coastal Peaks. Um, it is basically 
dare I say, my favorite coffee shop. Um, they roast their own beans and um, just everything that they offer there is so delicious. I already, I still have my matcha. I have two meetings back to back. And then, like I said, and then uh, I go home. Hopefully I'm gonna hear from them about my car. Hopefully they were able to fix it and replace the part. Uh, so it's gonna be done relatively quickly. Because I did clean out my car before I took it this time though. And I'm so What's up guys? So I'm back in the car. Hang on, stop everything. I need the AC immediately. I have decided I was debating between a hike or getting my nails done. And then as I was taking a shower, I looked down at my nails and thought, absolutely not. You cannot live your life this way any longer. I remembered cash for the nail salon. I am extremely proud of myself. And we'll see what color I end up with. I kind of want to get like gel on my nails or like tips on my nails. like. I am not the type of person to have that. It's gonna, it would feel very unnatural. I've done it before um, when we went to New York actually a couple of years ago. And how is that a couple of years ago now? What is going on? Um, I liked them, but they're just hard to maintain. And I feel like they would just get in my way when I'm like teaching and taking classes. I don't know, I'm kind of vibing with it though, but maybe it's just because I'm watching all these YouTubers with really cute ass nails and I'm like, I could do that. And it's like, no Steph, like do you really need that in your life? Plus they're like expensive and I don't know. I don't even think I brought enough cash for that. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna call it. We've got a tractor situation. This is my life because we live obviously on a bunch of farmland we have tractors that always come and go. So you always have to plan ahead because you never know when you're gonna get stuck behind this. Luckily, I'm not in a hurry. I don't have a class to teach. Everything's fine. Look at this windshield though. Nick doesn't have windshield wiper fluid um, right now. So it is, it is pretty freaking nasty and I can, it's, you know, touch and go with sight, you know? All right, fam, my toes are done. They are yellow and I love them. That was so necessary as it always is, but she definitely like kind of went to town um, on one or two of my toes and they're a little bit sore. So we'll see how that ends up, but she was really sweet and um, I just enjoyed my time. I legitimately just watched YouTube videos the whole time and um, I feel complete. Now I'm gonna go home and eat. I don't know if I wanna go grab a salad uh, salad mix or not. I don't know. I'm gonna call Nick and see what he's up to and see what he wants to do. But thing is going in. Whoa. This thing is beefcake. Oh my gosh, you guys. That's big progress right there. Okay, just taught class. We set up all of our stuff. I am doing an impromptu <laughs> on-demand filming session. Since we didn't get to it last week, I wanna make sure that we have some new content for, um, for this week. So, uh, Nick, are you gonna join me for it? Um, or are you just gonna press play? I'm gonna, I'll probably do it, because I didn't get to take your six. Okay. So Nick's planning on taking, it's going to be a 25 minute boot camp burner. So we're excited for that. Um, yeah. Oh, I have my watch too, so I can press play and everything. That's awesome. Sweet. Less editing for me to do. All right, let's do this.
Okay, I just filmed two one 15 minute, uh, what is it? <laughs> one 15 minute yoga flow, and then we did a 25 minute boot camp. So, and then I filmed for my Zoom class. And now Nick is going to do, are you gonna do abs with me? Oh. Um, I'm gonna do 10 minute abs. I probably should. You want to? Oh, yes, let's do it. <laughs> okay. Right. So we're gonna do a 15 minute abs circuit. We're actually, grab a block, Nick, and grab um, a pair of weights. I'm just gonna grab some threes. Brooke just crushing it in there. Love it. Clearly they're doing squats. Lock the door. Yeah. I'm having a really good hair day today. I don't wanna mess it up by going to yoga after this, but that's just what I'm gonna to have to do. Just what I'm gonna to have to do, that's okay, that's okay. All right, here's the setup. I don't need my AirPods. My matcha is empty, which is very sad. Apparently my parents are going to Sextant today and they invited me to go, or us to go. And we are stuck at the studio so we don't we don't get to go today, but that's okay. It's totally fine, it's totally so, fine. Block. So you need block and then two sets of weights. I honestly don't even know what we're gonna be doing, but it's gonna be great. <laughs> to say it has not been the best morning um we kind of woke up really hot um just just like mentally like i don't know we don't have a car still i have to grab my car today but that kind of threw off our whole thing because we had to also work desk because my desk staff um, my desk person was sick and we didn't have any coverage for it and nick was supposed to work on um, a job on a project today um, with another company and he had to bail on that because he had to help work here because I was also teaching um, anyway. And then all of those classes that you saw that I filmed did not make it onto the SD card. So that's three sessions that did not make it on the SD card, which means they are not going to exist on our on-demand. They don't even exist at all. I am so, I'm trying not to be upset, but I am very, very disappointed. And we just, we did not make, wake up in the best moods today, and I think this day, as soon as we walk out the store, we need to be done. We just need to be done, wipe our hands clean of this day, and just, that's just it. Nick is vacuuming right now. We're setting up to leave. Um, one of my other desk uh, people who's taking class right now, she's gonna stay and clean for us, which, bless her, because I'm just like, okay, yeah, even though it's gonna not take you very long, we just need to exit. We need to exit the facility. Our energy is not good juju. I don't wanna put it out there for anybody else. Yeah, it's been really hard to like happily communicate with people today. I'm sure you all have had those days. But I did take a shower. Um, I did um, freshen up and now uh, we're just waiting for the class to be done. We have about 40, ooh, 40 more minutes until we leave. But oh my goodness, I am hungry. I haven't really eaten today. Neither is Nick. I'm running on matcha and a verba right now, which is not healthy. So that's the story of today. Wednesday, hump day. Hopefully it looks up from here. <laughs> Literally 30 seconds after I was just filming that last clip, someone from the neighborhood, the smoothie place, just knocks on the door and asks if we want a bowl. <laughs> I'm like, it's so good, huh? I was just telling everyone that. So hungry. We have not eaten today. I'm running on matcha and a verb bar. That is so not okay. So not okay. I like peanut butter, cacao nibs. Mm. It's so good. Blueberry straw. Okay, this is the high street bowl, apparently. I never had one with peanut butter in it. Mm. it. It like cuts the sweetness, which is good. We're in the best moods today. It's challenging sometimes when 
you and your spouse wake up in bad moods and then you have to go to the same job together and try to get out of your bad mood. The struggles. Mm. One thing I don't enjoy is bananas. I don't like bananas. I'm avoiding them. I'm avoiding them like COVID. I can't believe those freaking classes didn't get filmed. I'm gonna put it in the fridge. I'm probably gonna forget it. Cause that's what I always do. Okay. Ah, uh, hello, fellas and gals. I'm finally back in my car. I have a full tank of gas, which is nice. They had to, um, I'm assuming it's because they had to like test it to make sure that it filled up all the way. So we're back in business, guys. It's been a freaking wild ride, but you know what, Toyota? You've been lovely, but can I not see you again for a really long time? That would be fantastic. That was a hefty ass bill though, and I am not stoked. So they had to like, they also had to replace my fender liner and that was a pretty penny. Lord almighty, can I not go off-roading and fuck up my car ever again also? It's been a day, y'all. <laughs> he goes, I'm wearing like my linen shorts and he goes, hey, you look like you're ready for the beach. And I was like, dude, I wish I was going to the beach. Um, now it's time to detail this mf -er for sure. I am so excited to do that. Um, yeah, and that's going to be probably, I don't know, tomorrow's really crazy too. Luckily, today, I don't have to teach. I got that subbed because this morning has been nuts. Um, so we're not doing that. We're not we're not teaching tonight. I rescheduled my meeting that was going, that was supposed to be before my class today. So I'm just not in the best mood and I want to like show up and like actually be able to hold space and you know, all this stuff. Dude, my hair is just like growing rapidly right now. I am so happy with it. It's like... I've been having really good hair days and I'm stoked on it. Um, it's probably because it's super dry outside too, <laughs> not gonna lie. I, my poor dogs have been inside all freaking morning since like 5, 15, and I just hate that. We, I, I, I finished most of that acai bowl. It had peanut butter in it and it was so bomb. Like I will never get an acai bowl without peanut butter in it because it just like cuts the sweetness a lot. Mmm, that was so good. But now my belly is happy. My parents are just drinking wine right now, having lunch, having a grand old time. And here's me wishing that I was there, but it's fine. Hey, spent trying to find love inside a paycheck. Don't know what happened, always paid debts. And now I'm some guy that I don't know. Oh, hey, spent trying to make some more so I can pay less. Didn't even focus on my interest Just waiting for my girl to call Oh, but I don't have a girlfriend We broke up on the wheel oh, I am so tired today. Oh my goodness. I don't know if it's the wine that I drank last night or what, but I am just like dragging and I'm feeling just out of it. So I'm gonna go teach the 1030 though. <laughs> It's 10, 11 right now. I just left Scout. I had a meeting. Um, I've been meeting with all of my staff, basically. Um, I feel like I've, I need to explain this because I just keep saying that I have a bunch of coffee meetings, but I'm meeting with um, each of my staff individually just to kind of touch base, sync up, and um, make sure that they feel heard and um, make sure they just holding space for them to give suggestions, to um, give me feedback and ask questions. So um, it's been really good. Yeah, that being said, it's exhausting. Um, <laughs> and but really good so that's what i've been up to today so that's helpful it's a full class so that's always fun i think that well it's 10 30 and always 10 30 is pretty full but um yeah it's always fun to teach a full bar class seriously it's like brings me so much joy so even though i'm tired i'm really excited so yeah after that we're gonna do a little studio maintenance uh, we got a shipment from uh, spiritual gangster so i want to make sure that i get that in our boutique um, and Nick has some work to do. He's going to be working on our humidifier because 
our um, humidity just has not been on point. Um, so Nick's gonna try to fix that. Say shout out to those um, workers at Quickie Car Wash for like really thoroughly like hosing down like bird poop and all of this stuff and like scrubbing it before it goes into this thing because it just makes all the difference. And I hope that they get paid the proper amount because they do a really good job and I really appreciate them. That's all. I am beyond hungry right now. Like I'm ravenous. And so I am making a couple of eggs and I think this avocado is right. I just want to feel, I want to fuel my body with like just really good nutrients because number one, I don't want to get sick because I got um, sick a couple of weeks ago and it really tore me down a little bit. So we are not going to do that. We're going to fuel ourselves and our bodies with healthy things. So I ran out of salad mix. So I think I'm just going to make eggs and then cut open this avocado. It's going to be my meal and I'm really freaking excited about it. I'm in no way counting calories. I actually like, I want to mention that it's so interesting because I'm noticing all of these little things that are triggering me as far as like body image and weight and stuff. The other day, like I was watching, I don't know, I think it was some vlog or something and they were like, oh yeah, this is how many, no, I was just like listening to stuff and they're like, oh, and this is only such and such calories. And I was like, I don't care about that. Like, please don't shove calorie count at me because it really does like trigger me. Um, and I'm noticing that now and it didn't used to because I was always so into it. Like how many calories is this? Like, it's just like so toxic for me for many reasons. So that's what I'm going to say about that. We decided to go to the fair tonight. We just started yesterday. So we're going to go today, but we're also going tomorrow because we got tickets for big and rich. I didn't realize that it's tomorrow. Nick was supposed to leave for the cabin tomorrow. So we like had to rearrange our plans and stuff, but that means we're going two days in a row and I'm not mad about it. Um, we're probably going to end up going at least four times. We love the fair. Um, you don't even have to be there for that long. You can literally just stay for like three hours, like see the sights, see people and then leave. I'm excited about it. So yeah, just putting some salt on this bad boy. Mmm. We should salt up our avocado too dust it dust it all over you can't even see what i'm doing right now but you know my routine already if you've watched a couple of my vlogs you already know this okay let's freaking eat okay right now i'm just setting up something to watch well, youtube i've been really into margot lee lately this is the finished product I'm super excited. Also, like, probably shouldn't eat too much anyway because we're gonna go to the fair and that means like yummy food, like corn dogs and funnel cakes and cinnamon rolls. It has been morning. Nick and I woke up in kind of a strange mood again today. And we just, yeah. I don't know what's going on there, but we, um, I think we shook it off. Uh, I topped the 745 and I took the 9 a.m. And then I ended up last minute teaching the 1030. One of my instructors wasn't feeling well. So I swooped in and taught. I was already there. Um, I didn't really have a plan for class and I used an old playlist, which I didn't really enjoy that playlist. So I need to just delete it and 
never return again. Um, but yeah, the energy was super low in there today. It's been like that the past couple of Fridays. Typically the 1030, people are just like on it. They are so ready to work and they are just like so stoked to be there. But I don't know, today's energy was just not it, but it's all good. That just happens sometimes. But yeah, it really, I don't know, it got to me. It usually doesn't get to me because I'm just like, okay, well, whatever, everyone's just doing their best. But today I was just like, like, what is it? Like, why is the energy like this for the past, like, three consecutive weeks? I don't get it. Anyway, but I'm going to go home now. Um, I actually ended up having a lunch meeting with one of my um, instructors, just touching base and syncing up. And um, now I'm going home to let out the dogs. They've been inside. They've been so cooped up this week just because we've been so busy um, with um, just a lot of a lot of tasks that we've had to get done. Okay, water is required. Oh my god. Ice in your water bottle. Best thing you can ever do for yourself in your life. <laughs> Nick on the Peloton. <laughs> he got clips, baby. I'm like wearing jeans. <laughs> well, you're just trying it out. You're well, not going for <laughs> You're doing it in You're actually doing it. <laughs> Love her. Job, I like babe. this. So it tells you like what you want your cadence to be. Used. Oh yeah, it's when she says it, it changes, and yeah, then that's awesome. yeah, that's I so always cool. I don't ever use the leaderboard because it annoys me. But yeah, you can take that off too. It's awesome, and I always use this for music because it's so good. Prodigy, dang! All right, chilling out here, no problem. All right, babe. It's even hard. Keep pumping. <laughs> Try Alex Toussaint. Try Tune Day's class. Okay, bye. to hop on the Peloton. I think I'm gonna do a boot camp. Um, 45 minutes with, with Jess. I really liked her 45 minutes last time. So we're gonna get after it again. Um, didn't make it into the studio this morning. I slept in until nine, which is freaking awesome. Um, I ate an English muffin. Thank you, mom. It was delicious. Um, but I'm wearing this Lulu top but it's, the ref it's one of the refined tops and I got it without trying it on. And um, I didn't realize that these tops run a little bit small. And so like, I, you could just tell it does not, it does not fit me. It's not flattering, um, but we accidentally put it in the wash. So now it's mine forever. And so I just, it's just gonna be my, <laughs> my, um, my home workout tank top, but yeah. Anyway, so I'm really stoked that Nick got on the Peloton yesterday. It was really awesome to just like watch him spin. He definitely says that he still likes hot yoga better, obviously, but um, yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna do this bad boy. Let's see, what are we doing here? We are doing, I have a pretty great view though, I gotta say, we're still redoing this window. It's been like that for literally six months, it's fine. Um, let's see, wait, did I already? Oh, dang it, it stopped. Okay, boot camp, length, 45 minutes. We're gonna get after it today. I'm gonna do the 90s hip hop one. Yes, please. Okay, let's do this. I'm gonna see if I can time lapse it. It's really messy in here though. Do I really wanna do that? I don't know. Okay, here we go. So intense. Oh, 
it's so hard. Peloton boot camps severely kick my ass. Together. I am actually headed out to the studio right now because we got some new merch. We got some um, gold sheet merch and I want to put it out in the boutique ASAP. So we're gonna go do that. I think I'm going to stop by CalFresh and go to the salad bar and grab a salad because it just sounds so freaking good to me right now. I guess now that I'm thinking more about it, it's not really that bad, but I was getting salad at CalFresh at the salad bar and I was leaving to go pay. Um, I was leaving the area and this older lady was just like nonchalantly like walks over toward like the chicken nugget and she just like grabs it with her fingers and ate it. Like, okay, number one, that's not free. Number two, that's unsanitary and dishonest. I, I'm a little shook. Like, dude, do people do that? Like, is that, I hope not. Cause that really disturbed me. And that really makes me upset. Cause like, yo, like someone got paid to make those things. And I don't know. I'm just annoyed. I'm annoyed, but okay. Moving on. <laughs> okay. I'm at this dude. I'm gonna put up my hair. <sighs> okay, so we are going to eat this first for sure. I went a little crazy on everything, like literally every condiment. <laughs> so I definitely had a um a situation with the balsamic vinegar though. Like that was so embarrassing. I just like spilled all over the place. To work your salad. And work all of the uh dressing in mm. oh yes bad thing is that i couldn't fit broccoli on here and i freaking love broccoli okay so last night was so much fun we ended up staying at the fair a lot longer than i thought we would um but we ended up going to jimmy's watering hole if you know you know uh and we just danced to country music and it had been so long since i had done that i just like it just fed my soul my brain is not functioning at full capacity today okay I uh, didn't get the label maker figured out after Nick's, um, after we had to basically FaceTime and he had to like kind of talk me through it. I still, I still wasn't able to understand what I was supposed to be doing. So I didn't get the barcodes on the tags, but I got the stuff, I got the products in, um, in the boutique. So I feel like I accomplished something and I was just, I was still productive today. Um, but the cleaners came, I didn't realize that they come on Saturdays. So, um, I was going to insert a clip of me showing you the products, but I'll have to do that another time because I just felt kind of awkward. Nick is still doing his thing. I, I really don't want to go home. I have nothing to do at home. I kind of feel like going thrifting, but I don't have money to go thrifting. So that salad was so good though. I really needed that. Um, I want something sweet. Okay, real quick though, I forgot to mention earlier with that lady um, who stole a freaking chicken nugget from the hot bar, um, she was wearing a mask. <laughs> like, can we, can we just acknowledge how, like just the irony of that? Like, anyways, okay, let's just get on with our lives. <laughs> Walmart haul. Okay, so we have been lacking in the chocolate department at our house and that simply is just not okay with me. So I just uh, went to Walmart and I got some chocolate. This is my favorite chocolate that you can just get like literally anywhere. And I got Nick some Reese's. We are apparently in, in hot tamale, in a hot tamale uh, shortage crisis, if you will, because they didn't have literally any boxes of hot tamales anywhere. So I'm sorry, babe. I tried. Um, I got a couple of nail polishes too because I need to really redo my entire nail polish collection. But I got a, just a simple light pink one, like a ballerina pink. Two, two, thrill. I was close. And we got, ooh, beach vibes. I didn't even look at these names before I bought them. But just like a darker blue color, like a navy blue. Super excited about those. But can I just say, I was walking um, through the parking lot to go in, and this beautiful girl, she goes, I like your jeans, and I'm like, oh, thanks, like my ripped up, like, ones that need to be shorts, but they're not shorts yet, because I can't part with my <laughs> with them, um, but then she goes, I like your hair too, she goes, wait, oh my god, she's like, you are freaking gorgeous, she's like, holy shit, I was like, 
thank you. <laughs> like, I'm like not over it. Like that type of thing. Like girls, we got to look out for each other, man. Like we got to support each other and give each other compliments because that just made my whole freaking day. That's what I told her. I was like, wow, you just made my whole day. Thank you. The only thing I regret not saying back to her is girl, you are also are freaking beautiful and gorgeous and thank you so much like obviously inside and out because yeah I'm regretful that I didn't say anything back to her but I was just like so shocked and taken back by it I don't know I'm sweating that was just really sweet and I'm like wow thank you I needed to hear that <laughs> <laughs> all right we're at Avila right now Avila Beach Golf Resort we are fully equipped for a flow and sip today so yeah. basically what we do is we set up we'll go to Mulligan's you can tell my voice is just still not good. It's like raspy still. <laughs> um, anyway, we'll grab some Bud Lights and we'll, we're going to get to it. This is our view. There's it's a little turkey. foggy. There's yeah, turkey vultures. They're out. huge. They're just, they're, they're just hanging out. I know, but. That's so cool. All right. I have to be. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 